when determining the value of a property, should I rely upon the Zestimate? So in Zillow, uh, in some markets, they provide an estimated market value or a Zestimate here, uh, as it's highlighted. And my gut reaction, and based on my years of experience, is no. As you can see, if you go back to 2021, just pulled up an old article, you know, Zillow actually lost $880 million on its home flipping business in, back in 2021. And I'm sure a lot of that analysis was based off their internal estimate of uh, what they thought properties were worth. So and that's why um, I'd say no to, you know, just solely basing the value of your home uh, using a estimate number. The best way to determine what, you know, a property's worth is you know, old fashioned comping properties. And what I mean by that is, you know, just pick the random property here in Orlando. And it's in this little subdivision here. So I drew a circle so that we only see comps uh, in this area. And you can clearly see here as sort of high to low that some properties are in the 300s. And then, you know, others are going down to the low 100s. Uh, this looks like in a different development here, that one. So the estimate that we saw here uh, at 229, uh, the property, you know, the, the cabinets are in good condition, but probably 20 years old. Uh, appliances are old. Uh, property needs paint. Uh, some of the photos here are blur, so it's tough to tell. You know, older tiles. So the property needs some love, and it's thinking it's worth two something uh, based on the estimate. Now, if we go to uh, the comps here, we if I picked a uh, one in the threes, uh, such as uh, this one here that I already clicked on, this uh, green uh, very court, it sold for three hundred. You know, similar similar style ranch house and square footage to ours. What the interior photos look like here on again, this house was uh, three hundred thousand. Is you know, nicely updated flooring, new paint. Again, the cabinets are older, but good condition. And then uh, newer appliances, it looks like, and probably newer countertops as well, yes. So the, you know, the, the homeowner here made some nice updates, decided to keep the kitchen cabinets as it is since they're in decent condition. And you know, budget, you know, uh, vanity in the bathroom as well here. And this property got 300,000. So great example of, okay, if a nice fixed up property like this got 300,000, you know, how much do you expect to spend? And that's how you should come up with your kind of uh, number. And if you're a flipper, you got to factor in profit and holding costs there as well. So I hope this video was helpful on explaining on why not to solely rely upon using Zestimate. And it varies greatly in, by markets as well, too, on how accurate it is. Hope this video was helpful. Got some value out of it.